is now the 16th of October, 36 degrees outside. We had a little frost last night, and uh, I didn't hunt yesterday. Had other things we had to do. But, friend of mine, good feeder report. We saw a buck in the, in his, from his stand, a small eight point, and other feeder reports from other people that I talked to. And uh, the bucks are moving, and the deer are moving. And to give you a perfect example, we went to the appointment yesterday, uh, right around 8.40, and there were deer around the road, but there was a buck in the road too. Not in the road, but off the side. And uh, that's always a good, 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 good step. You see a buck. It was a small six point, but it was still a buck. Yeah. And get up, eat breakfast, and hit the stand because they, like I said, they don't usually start moving to about eight o'clock. That's always been the norm. But uh, got me some new boots yesterday. I got me the mucks, rubber boots. For the first time, I'm able to wear them. A rubber boot and get my feet in them, and not, and of course, chain socks. Learning how to put my pant legs on and all that good stuff with it. But anyway, they were on sale at Tractor Supply, so I bought a pair last night. Uh, why? I don't know. The other ones were good too, but these are nicer. Slip them on, walk through the bush, and you gotta worry about stuff getting on your pant legs and etc. And they're solid rubber soles, so we'll see how they pan out. And I'll do another review. And of course, next week or two, I'm gonna bring out my Winsent 2 0 and uh, try that. Start doing a review on that one too, and see, hey, are they really worth the, the money to bring the deer in or not? And of course. It depends on the deer and what they're anxious for, but they are starting to move, and uh, that's a good thing. So, let's get to hunting. Well, sat here, <clears throat> sat here reminiscing about a little few things, and uh, I never had the fortune to see them getting a real big buck. Okay, the biggest buck I saw was when I first started hunting. I didn't have no camera stuff, didn't have no YouTube channel, not that I can remember. And uh, I had a compound bow. And I was at my other stand, stand number one, before I moved it. And uh, saw the doe. I was going to pull back and draw on the doe. And uh, she stopped and she looked over the back of her shoulder. But I looked up and straight out of the, straight up out of the ravine where I usually have to chase him. Back. Here comes this big rack deer. And it must have been about eight, ten point. I don't know, it was big. It turned, <clears throat> and the doe started walking, and then the buck started following it. So I grunted, the buck stopped, I shot, went right up underneath the belly. Uh, I guess I didn't have my pin placement right or whatever. And then it took off after the doe, and I tell you what, my heart was pounding. It was gorgeous to see that kind of stuff like that. Uh, I've had the fortune to see, of seeing it, and that's what I like. I see it on TV all the time. Those guys got all the ranch lands and all the perfect spots to hunt where... Iowa, Idaho, and Minnesota all have those big ass bucks in Kansas. <clears throat> Down here in Tennessee, where I'm at, I don't have that many big bucks, so I take what I get. So, sitting here a little while ago, we got turkey, probably up the road a little bit here in the gully. I could hear them clucking away, but they haven't come this way either, so. But it was sitting there just, like I said, you have time to think when you're on the stand. I said, what kind of nuts is out here in the cold? Those who love to hunt, right? Motorcycle season ends when it's cold like this, somewhat. But hunting opens up, and then we get a couple more months of cold where we don't do nothing but fall turkey, maybe, and no riding. But you know what I'm saying? It's just one thing ends and another one picks up. So let's hopefully we sit here long enough. We've been out here an hour or so, nothing moving yet, but that's not abnormal. I said they don't usually move until later. I, I, I'm really believing the moon has an effect on this thing, but correct me if I'm wrong. I wish somebody would chime in and say, yeah, you know what? The moon has no no play in this at all. Then I'd probably feel better for, for those who actually hunt. So, all right, good people. We'll be back with you. Well, another day gone by here this morning and uh, no movement other than squirrels. And now that the wind is picking up, it's blowing pretty good through here. And I'm afraid if I shoot my bolt that it will deflect it one way or the other because there's some good breezes coming through here all of a sudden. I don't know where it came from, but that's the way it is. But we'll sit out here for a few more minutes and then uh, head back to the barn and uh, see what goes on. I'm not going to 
I make a video every day. Uh, but if you see a long segment where I might, like today's the 16th, but you don't see the next video clip until the 18th or 19th, and that's based upon I'm waiting to see maybe I get a deer. But uh, as it stands right now, I'm not doing too good. Uh, I'm loving life. I'm loving it out here. I love the thrill of hunting. I just wish I could uh, add to it with some deer. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. So far, these uh, molds are uh, they're pretty good. I've never had them before. I've seen them on the uh, Bone Collector and uh, a few of the other TV shows. Like I said, I I watch The Crush and uh, a few more. Uh, Driven. I like Driven as well. And uh, I like Beyond the Hunt too. You know, those are all good shows. But you know. They got property, they got areas. What I really love is I go on YouTube and I watch these guys like myself. Uh, iPhone camera, or maybe a DLSR camera. And they video their hunts and they talk about their hunts and they're very good too, except they get deer. <laughs> they're in the area where they got deer. Some do. I've seen them go out a couple times in their videos like me and no deer. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. So I'll talk to you all in a little while. Hey, I'm back this afternoon. Huh? I just up over the hill here. Sounds like a doe over there barking. Uh, she was real loud, so she's not that far. Hopefully, I got in here not spook her. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I forgot to post a picture. This big nine point right here uh, comes by my stand early in the morning, so I know they're out there. I'm hoping he comes during the daylight one time. We got cool weather prevailing until Saturday, and then we go back up into the temperatures. Uh, next week, I gotta give up another day of hunting, a um, morning anyway. I gotta go to the, the VA clinic in Nashville. I really don't like Nashville, but I gotta go. And uh, I checked my camera out here as I left the stand this morning, and uh, this big deer was here. Uh, I'll have to get down on it, but it showed up at 9.30 yesterday morning the day I wasn't hunting of course so hopefully more and more show up but we're going to do an afternoon hunt it's just about 12 30 now so we're going to see what happens with the deer during this time of day uh, it's just a matter of luck when you get out here and all that so hang in there and uh, we'll get back you know I don't know if you can hear this in the background but this is what we put up with once in a while you hear it? that's a c-17 out here practicing touch and goes in the airfield on base on the post. Uh, they come by all the time and they fly right over this area. Deer are kind of immune to it, but they still fly over. Just the wind and lots of trees and beautiful weather. Actually, it's pretty nice out here. I think it's back up to about 56, 57 degrees. Uh, like I said, no deer movement in this quadrant. But I will tell you, something that does make me proud is my wife. <clears throat> I can't stress that enough. Her determination to go out and hunt all the time is just remarkable. I sat there before lunch and, you know, get my lunch and sit down and she goes, I won't need to stand. I said, okay, I'm going out shortly. She goes, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to hunt now. <laughs> and out the door she went to go hunt. And she'll sit there for hours, even when I went in this morning, for other reasons, you know. And uh, she came in about an hour after I got back, you know. No deer, of course, but she'll sit there for a long, long time looking at the same thing I'm looking at, forest, and enjoying the view of just enjoying it. I kind of sometimes wish I would have bought that uh, 34 acres in that house that's up the road when I first started seeing that because that one's got right up next to a corn pasture, a yeah, cornfield and stuff. So the property line, I could have got a deer a little bit more seen. You could see more. Down here in the woods, uh, you see them when you see them. That's all I can say. Uh, so far, they've been elusive. Like I said, I had a couple deer before walking in front of me. So I know they're here. And a couple of the ones I saw outside their shooting area, but 
in front of my stand. They're not there yet. <clears throat> and like I said, I got the rut season's coming up pretty soon, and I'm going to try some new stuff that I haven't done yet, the Winsent 2.0. Uh, hey, if you all use that Winsent 2.0, Give me some clues and feedback if it's that good or not. I mean, I don't know. I need something to attract them in here besides illegal corn and stuff like that I can't have and I won't have. But uh, I know the game wardens, hi. They watch my videos too and that's how they find people. But rest assured, no batteries in my feeder, no corn in the ground, no corn in the feeders, and there's nothing out there illegal. Mineral blocks and uh, the wind scent, which I've got the email saying that's legal. So, all right. Let's get back to hunting. Well, this will conclude another deer list day. Uh, hopefully tomorrow morning. I'm gonna hunt from st stand one this time and see if anything moves up there. Nothing moving down here in the river bottoms. Uh, might be still too early in the season for them to move through here. I got pictures, but I don't have deer in, the, in my sights. And kind of slow right now between the C-17 and the Apache's flying over. I got a headache. It's time to go in. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll catch you on the next segment. And this will conclude the uh, 16th of October. Halfway, man, look at this shit. Halfway through October already. It's hard to believe, man. Oh, well. It's good. We'll talk to you in a bit. Hey, good morning to you. It's now the 17th of October. And I told you the other day about the deer situation where I saw the biggest one I've ever seen on the property and I missed them. This is the spot, but it's a little bit farther up on the hill. We moved the stand down and cleared out more land and uh, hopefully they show back up. Now, we didn't hunt last night. I went to see if I could find the uh, eclipse, uh, not the eclipse, but the comet and try to take pictures of that last night. Didn't see no comet, but we did see large deer on Fort Campbell for the first time running around and they were moving. I mean, the buck was chasing them. It was cute. It was nice to see for a change, but they weren't here on the property, so it doesn't do no good, does it? <laughs> yeah, I told you about old age, too. Yeah, a friend of mine corrected me today. Let me know that uh, we still have one more ride for this season. I'm like, oh shit, and I went back and looked. He is correct. We have one more ride for the year. <laughs> I was thinking the calendar was off. It was just me. So, anyway, I'm all locked and loaded. I hope. <laughs> now all we have to do is have some beer come by this morning and uh, make my day. Uh, we're not hunting tomorrow morning. Doctor appointment, of course. And more important, we're going out and vote. I want to make sure my vote is cast again, as it always is. It makes a difference. Uh, whoever you vote for, I know who I'm voting for, and I don't, I'm proud to say Trump, you know, for many reasons, but that, we'll leave it at that. So, I'm gonna get out and vote. I'm gonna do some hunting this morning, do some hunting this evening, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, two deer, three deer. Four deer today. And she has no yell. I'm pretty sure she's gonna go up. And she's following them. That's four deer in the first ten minutes I'm out in the stand. But uh, like I said, she's got dough with her and fawns. So let them live a little longer. I probably could have got a shot if she would have come out a little farther out of the bush. 
Uh, she looked up and stomped her foot a couple times and then put her head back down and walked away. Uh, back in that direction. So, damn, that was good. That was, that was extremely good to see this morning. Uh, but, like I said, I probably could have taken the shot at least once, but the phones are young, so I'm going to let them go. Yeah, sitting here watching which way they came in from, and I guarantee you I would have never made it to stand one without spooking them. Or stand two. That's why I made stand one today. I changed out stands, and in my stand, they came back up around the corner over here and went back down as they're heading back towards my, sec my first, second stand. So I would have never been able to get a shot, and of course, there's a path up there they take and they go across the street, so they could have gone either direction, but for the most part, it was exciting. Got to see deer this morning in the stand, and that's always a good thing. And unlike other people, I believe in management to an extent. Uh, I'm not overrun with a bunch of does and not hurting anything. Uh, this one apparently is raising two fawns. That's more important. It increases the uh, population next year or the year after next. So as they get older and they get buried and more on and so on, you know how it works. And uh, all I can do is just let her walk, and that was a good choice on my part. So, let's get back to hunting. Well, <clears throat> it's time to pack up a little bit. Yeah, we had the total of 10 deer this morning. Oh, I saw my initial uh, three deer, four deer come by. Actually, not, yeah, nine deer, ten, yeah, nine deer. I had the two does, uh, two does and two fawns come by, and uh, yeah. Now the two, the one big doe, she was 30 yards right here to my side. I hope the video captured it on my uh, tag of cam. And, uh, and of course on the same token, the wife called me back a little while, or text me, and she had three deer over there with her, just out of range though. Uh, she didn't say if they were does or, I mean, uh, fawns with her or not. And then uh, I think it was just about 20, 25 minutes ago, she had two deer down below her again, still out of range, and uh, and of course they walked away from where we're at, and towards the, the lake property, so I think we're done this morning. We're gonna come back out this afternoon and uh, give it another whirl this evening and see if we can get a, a few more sightings or maybe even bag one for a change. I'm still zero. Uh, I haven't popped the bubble yet this, this season to get my deer, but you know, it's okay. It happens. I mean, this season's still young. If it would have been rifle season, I probably would have got that second doe without a problem. But like I said, uh, the one with the two fawns, uh, fawns need the mama for now. You know, the milk and everything to make them a little bit more nourishable. Until the end of the season, next year she'll be open game if she doesn't have any more. Uh, and then again, towards the end of the season, the deer are bigger, so we'll see. I, mean, I can't guarantee I won't shoot one, but for now, that one right there, the pawns were just like right up on it. There was no no way I don't want to spook them up and ruin the family thing, okay? Yeah, call me crazy, but that's the way it is. All right, later. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to my stand. It's still the 17th of October. And good, good encounters this morning. After talking to a few people, my... Uh, choice of not shooting the doe with the two fawns might have been a little premature I think and I'll tell you why uh, went back and looked at the video footage of the deer and uh, the doe were pretty the doe was good size the doe was excellent size and uh, oh, the ship dropped something well anyway that was a damn good size and the fawns were not that small no spots I put them almost a year old a possibility they could have been a year old I don't know I dropped my rain finder sorry about that <laughs> anyway like I was saying hell hold on hold on I did it went out the stand it's on the bottom of the stand I had to get out and get it. Damn it, didn't want to do that. So it, it is what it is. So anyway, hopefully this, uh, this evening, we're out here for the evening hunt early. Get settled in as the sun starts to set. Maybe they'll start moving back through here. I don't know. 
but we're gonna find out either way, okay? So we'll talk to you later. Range finder, got it. Anyway, I got a friend of mine, he's a construction worker. I'm gonna pay for him. We're gonna take my wife's steps that we built her, you know, next season. Put them down here on my stand, since they're the same stands. And I'm gonna build her ones that are a little wider. That's what she wants, so. We'll see what that's gonna cost me. But I gotta have steps. Ladder stuff's getting old. Getting up and down the, the ladder and ain't too fond of that stuff. But I'll deal with it until then. You know. Hope you don't think my videos are too boring. I try to keep alive and talk to you, hoping to get responses back, mainly too, and uh, just to make a video too. That helps out too. So hope you get some deer in here. At least get one down on my side today or Maybe her side, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. So, enjoy, and uh, thank you for sticking along with me. I do appreciate it. All you good guys out there and bad guys don't care. Let me know what you think about the, the doe, fawn situation. When's a good time to shoot them? When should you ignore them? I really, really like to have some opinions other than me and my wife and what we think and a couple other people, but you as the viewers out there that hunt know more than I do. And your ethics might be better than mine, or not as good, I don't know, I'm not insulting anybody, please. But I would just like an honest opinion, of if, a, if a fawn is, spots are gone, and it's almost a half the size of mom, is that a good time that you can take the doe out? Is the deer able to take care of itself? I don't know. So I'm going to ask you, so chime in, let me know, please, I'd appreciate it. Well... <clears throat> 17th looks like a bust for me as far as getting a deer on the ground but overall I saw my four deer this morning I was very happy the wife saw five deer over there where she's at and this evening she texted me she says she's got three more deer over there but they're out of range still but seeing them is half the battle here <laughs> seeing them actually lifts your spirit up I think I'm gonna sit out here for probably another 20 minutes or so and uh, call it quits for tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning we got doctor appointment. Gotta go vote. And please, ladies and gentlemen, get out and vote. Uh, our country needs you. Uh, that's enough on that one. And then I gotta stop by Lowe's and a couple other places and hopefully come out uh, tomorrow evening and hunt and start another video segment. But as far as that, uh, unless something pops up and we get a deer between now and the sun goes totally down This will conclude the video and uh, like I said ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging in there. We did get two deer on the ground uh, We're trying to get uh, some content in the video where you're actually shooting and hitting them But most of the time I ask questions and give you my point of views and I really like your feedback uh, If any, please chime in and say hey, this video sucks <laughs> Or this video is good, I enjoy listening to your crap. Or, hey, you need to go find a wife or something, I don't care. But I really like recommendations that I've asked questions about. Uh, one is hunting the doe that have fawns. Uh, is there a, 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 an ethical place to say, okay, the fawns are big enough, we can go ahead and take that doe or something to that effect, okay? And uh, I would really like to know how you guys attract some of them deer into your area. I need some help. I can't use corn, can't use anything illegal, but I, uh, I would definitely like to try to draw some more in. Our mineral blocks don't seem to be working too good either. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll catch you on the next video, okay? Thanks, and we'll talk to you later.